Assalamu alaikum. So, uh, anaphylactic reaction is a type of reaction which is IgE mediated and it happens in second. But remember that whenever the patient is having anaphylactic reaction, he will be having exposure to the allergen for the second time. First time, it's not that much toxic. Okay, so what will be the signs and symptoms? Uh, it will the patient will be having shortness of breath, wheeze, uh, injury edema, swollen lips, uh, swollen pharynx, swollen larynx, uh, larynx, uh, larynx, and a lot of uh, things will be swollen, and the patient will be having difficulty in breathing. Plus, he will be having uh, permeability, increased permeability of vessels, which will cause edema and decrease blood pressure. And this is a emergency, medical emergency, and we have to deal with it as soon and as fast as we can, or we will lose our patient. As I said, that it's an em medical emergency. So first of all, you have to maintain the airway. Give 100% of oxygen to maintain the SpO2 uh, about 94%. <clears throat> then remove any cause. Any cause which has caused this uh, allergic reaction should be removed. It can be anything. Okay, and elevate the feeds of the patient to uh, reduce hypotension and to increase the blood pressure of the patient. Then you have to give the patient uh, IM adrenaline 0.5 ml. The strength should be 1 in 1000. So you give this to the patient and see about the response, uh, response uh, in the patient while you have to monitor BP pulse temperature in the patient. Patient is usually having an allergic reaction so you have to give IV antihistamine which is chlorphenamine. Uh, 10 milligram IV state with hydrocortisone of 200 milligram IV state. Still, if the patient is wheezy, you have to nebulize the patient with uh, ventolin, uh, salbutamol with salbutamol and ipratropium bromide. Then you have to look after the vital sign of the patient. If the patient is deteriorating, you have to admit the patient in intensive care unit by giving and by ordering to give IV adrenaline and Aminophylline to decrease the wheezing, to decrease the bronchoconstriction, and to decrease the uh, allergic response. And if the patient is stable, you admit the patient in the ward, uh, ordering all the BLIs in the patient. Monitor the patient for a few hours or a day and advise the patient to identify. Or you can call the patient to a specialized center where they can identify certain type of food allergen which the patient has to avoid in future. There are certain type of uh, pens which are available just like uh, the insulin uh, lancet needles, just like the insulin needles in which there is a fixed dose. If the patient is having such type of reaction, so it contain adrenaline 0.3 ml, uh, it, uh, the patient inject it herself or himself. There are certain kind of alert uh, watches uh, if the patient feels some kind of uh, allergic reaction or there is difficulty in breathing or the patient is having again allergic anaphylactic reaction the bell the, he press the button and there is a alert to emergency emergency or the health care department which rushes to that area and uh, where the patient is having such kind of reaction so the thing is that in order to avoid any kind of anaphylactic reaction First, you have to identify the allergen, and once you have identified the allergen, you have to avoid it. There is nothing as such that can keep you away from the allergic reaction. The body system is hyperactivated, and it can only be it can only be uh, uh, it can only be dampened if you avoid the allergic uh, content, or or if you um, have a medical center near you. But if you are lucky, you will be having this allergic reaction near the medical center. But if you are far flung area, then it's difficult to survive such kind of anaphylactic reaction. Take care. We will meet in the next lecture with another medical emergencies topic. Thank you.